Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0 .90 Beta. In this episode I'm going to continue with my Minmus missions and so we have marked out our landing location with the asteroid docking unit because it was glitchy with the claw and we've gotten the emergency hab into orbit so that it can eventually land at the location and now we have to take care of the two other portions the Minmus Carbonite Tower, which is in Minmus Sphere of Influence right now and needs to get into orbit. And then the LFO Tanker, which is the last bit. And then we'll be ready to land them at the location. All of these have to be landed. Well, I guess the LFO Tanker can be held off for a little bit. But otherwise, Emergency Hab and Carbonite Tower have to be landed at the location. Alright, so uh, that's what we're going for. And let's get to the Carbonite Tower. Okay, so this is a storage and converter unit, and that's really all it's meant for. In fact, it's mainly going to store the carbonite, and then once the the tanker uh, hooks up with it, then it'll convert it to LFOs so that it can pump it out. But uh, for now, it's got a partial load of fuel so they can land. It's got 1,100 or so delta V, so no problems with landing on Minmus after getting into orbit. But let's make sure that we're in a good sort of location so okay that's a bit better how much does that cost uh, a bit much but uh, better out here than closer in okay okay uh, 15 degree inclination and then a periapsis of 29 kilometers is a good start we'll hold it there The actual location is at 11 degrees, so this will cover it. Up, oh, our LFO tanker is getting into Minosphere and Influence, so curb alarm clock is slowing me down. Okay, close alarm. Oh, yes, and delete. All right, continuing on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's an orbit, 33 by 24. And so let us now... Come on. Okay, a little bit of worry there. Uh, jump to the LFO tanker. Okay, so this is easily the most interesting of the vessels that we are sending over to Minmus. And, uh, of course, a crewed vessel, unlike the others. So very important that we get this one right. And indeed, it's the one that has the best approach out of the ones that we've handled so far. But we can improve upon that. Okay, now for periapsis. Gotta watch out for electric charge with this thing. Also, its TWR is like minimal. Gotta watch out for that as well. Okay, that periapsis might be a little bit low. Doesn't look like it's gonna bump into anything. I guess we'll keep it there. So now the thing is that our our intended location is now in the dark. We'll get into the daylight side pretty soon though, so we're just gonna hang out here. Attack life support. Uh, this vehicle has 36 days, not much, but it regularly goes between the ground and the station, so that's fine. Otherwise, we're all good, it looks like. No, it's not running out, it's fine. Uh, this is probably not the right vehicle. The first one we should land is the emergency. Well, how about the carbonite tower, actually? Now, on the moon, we had the problem where we couldn't select targets on the ground. Let's try and set this as a target. Right now it doesn't seem to have caused any sort of lag. Okay, looks like we're beginning to get into the daylight there. Not a bad inclination right now. We can probably hit it pretty easily. We want it to be a little bit north of it though, if I recall. Okay, let's not overdo it, otherwise we'll be well, it looks like it's pretty clear. Okay, that should do the trick, especially since the the moon will rotate a little bit. Maybe, in fact, we should 
tilt a little bit further north than we've got right now. This thing is quite maneuverable, surprisingly. Uh, well, it does have one of the big reaction wheels, but still... Well, I guess it's very light right now. It'll be heavier once it's filled up. Let's get landing gear down. I'd like to lock suspension on the gear. I think that's probably wise. Okay, perhaps a little bit too far north. Then again, I would like to be perhaps out of render distance of the little docking mechanism. So we're here. It doesn't mark the asteroid docking unit. I guess that's because it's basically debris. I don't think there's any real way of getting outside of render distance of the docking asteroid docking unit. Probably that would be very far away from the center of this location. Might have to go to the edge to do that. Okay, here we go. Not very far north from the asteroid docking unit at all. Probably it's going to be pretty easy to do precision uh, what you got landings on Minmus. Much easier than it was on the moon. Which is good because we have to connect uh, the LFO tanker to this regularly. Okay, coming in pretty slow and gentle. We're at 300 meters. 25. Gotta remember that it's not necessarily measuring from the bottom of the vehicle. Okay, there we go. We are on the surface of Minmus with our Carbonite Tower. Okay, so that's a start, but we've got much more to do. Let's get the emergency hab down before we get the, the crude module, the LFO tanker, anywhere near this. And then after that, we also have to get the drilling unit over here because obviously there aren't any uh, functional... Well, uh, I don't think there is a functional drilling unit on here. No, I expected to have the the other drilling probe hooked up to it. So yep, that's what we'll have to do. But first the emergency hab. Okay, here we are. And somebody in the comments mentioned that it'd be a good idea to go with extra planetary launch pads this time. And I think maybe I'll focus on extra, extra planetary launch pads instead of the MKS modules first when it comes to Minmus. And so it's probably pretty good that I made this emergency hab one of the EL survey stations. And I, I don't know the functionality of uh, extraplanetary launch pads just yet. I haven't uh, played around with it at all. So, yep, I'm just assuming that having an EL survey station is probably a good idea. And I will look forward to figuring out exactly what to do with it in later episodes. But for now, let's get it to the surface. So, this emergency hab will probably be a lot more functional than our previous one on the moon. I plan to make use of whatever this EL survey station actually does. Okay, this time maybe not set the asteroid docking unit, but rather the carbonite tower as the target. Let's just make sure that there's no weird lag due to that, and there doesn't seem to be. And I guess we'll go a little bit further north with this one as well. Further north than the carbonite tower. We'll just plan it that way. This does not turn very well. And yeah, it doesn't have any sort of reaction. Well, it has a small reaction wheel up here. I take it back. Uh, oh, it's got the probe. No, it's just the probe core zone reaction wheel. It's not the it's not an actual independent reaction wheel. There's no reaction wheel on here. Okay. Well, that's going to be tricky, especially since it doesn't have any any monopropellant or RCS so that can't be used either note in one hour oh uh, we are past that oh okay I I'm looking at this in the wrong direction this is not good we're going around that away 
Okay, there we go. Let's line up with this one now. Okay, here we go. Up, oh, I can't chase that maneuver node, no. Nope. Can't rotate quickly enough, but let's see how we are. Oh, that's pretty good. Can probably go a little bit more retrograde, but I think as far as inclination is concerned, we're not going to have any problems. So it is interesting, because I'm coming in from the opposite direction compared to when I landed with the Carbonite Tower. Getting good, uh, good practice landing at this location, coming in both directions here. Basically gotta come in straight down. Okay, it's pretty darn difficult to control this. Uh, well, okay. From this view it looks pretty close. From this view, not really. Oh, we've got... No, oh, we're... I guess we're just getting the normal getting into physics range lag there. I guess that will happen until, you know... Well, this series is unlikely to be upgraded to Unity 5, so... Uh, they're promising that Unity 5 will solve such issues, or at least partially solve such issues, and we can all be hopeful about that. Oh, the way it's hard to maneuver this thing means I can't really get as get as zeroed out on horizontal as I'd like. Twenty-five. Okay, it's on the ground, ready for business. Let's get the ladder down. Doesn't have much lighting of its own though. That's a little bit of a worry. I suppose it would be nice to get it over to the Carbonite Tower just so that we could hook things up directly. But, you know, we should eventually get something that could hop on over here and fill it up with whatever it needs. Uh, we needed to hook up some sort of Carbonite tank to it, I think. I don't think the the generator will work if we just drill and try and generate directly, I don't know. Well, I've told it to start carbonite drill. Oh, we could do a carborundum drill as well. Yeah, I don't think it uh, reads that there are any carbonite resources to use, so we can't use the carbonite generator. Okay, I'll just retract drill. That It doesn't have enough space to put anything. But we could eventually uh, connect up a carbonite tank. And anyway, food, water, and oxygen are here. So next thing, I guess we will land the LFO tanker t at this location and see how close we can get to the carbonite tower with it and make sure we can connect up with it. And uh, probably I won't uh, do it in this episode. Uh, the other thing is, of course, to bring the miner over here from the station. I believe the we need to clean up some of the station. The station still has the tug connected to it. We've got some business to attend to, but uh, but we'll see about the LFO tanker first. Okay, here we are with the LFO tanker, and I've already plotted our descent path, as you can see. Uh, so an inclination change combined with bringing the orbit in. Now I've got landing guidance here, and I think that should be useful in this case maybe we'll see it's not like I can't land stuff from uh, from orbit without it of course I've been doing that on the moon quite a lot so yep but it's just a curiosity seeing how it works out uh, and the landing prediction is very interesting here It's judging the landing prediction by my intended burn. Well, maybe I should go like that. 
let's find out. Uh, let's see if... Uh, let's see, it says... Target difference is one kilometer there, and maybe I should tweak it. Now this has Kerbals on, so I want to be very careful with it. Well, 200 meters. It still wouldn't be close enough, by the way. We have to hook up the pipes. And that's like less than 50 meters we need for that. But probably from tweaking like this, I can't do much better than 200. Actually, probably now I've ruined it. Okay, 250 I'll take. Alright, so that is our descent burn. On the bright side, it's more maneuverable than the than the hab so that's a plus okay it says 1.5 kilometers off we'll just uh, burn a little in this direction until we get a minimum here okay that looks like the minimum 120 meters I don't think that's going to work out because, of course, uh, we have to actually stop. <laughs> uh, it's just sort of assuming that we don't mind crashing at full speed. That's not quite what I want. But hey, uh, we'll, we'll fix it. Don't worry. Let's get closer. The Nemini and Shelbles Kerman. I don't think we're landing as close as it thinks we are. I think. I don't know. Alright, well, let's try to maneuver. Well, let's try to slow down without killing our approach. Gear down. Well, this is a good design anyway, very functional. Okay, we're now a kilometer off. So it says. Well, we can correct that, can't we? Okay, well now it says 40 meters or so. And we're down to less than 60 meters per second. Now this is the LVN, so it's going to take a little bit of time for it to... Oh, uh, Auto saving, okay. It's gonna take a little bit of time for it to help us slow down. Okay, I think I could do to slow down a little bit now. Ah, that's render range. We're gonna have an increasing pause as we go along now. Okay, forgive me for not talking too much. We've got uh, some interesting burning to do here. Okay, about 30 meters target difference there. certainly cuts down on hover time this landing guidance. Not good to trust it from a distance, but close in it's probably quite right. I think 20 meters we fine. Just trying to get closer here. Keep it to about 20 meters. Okay, there we are, on the ground. This thing is practically as tall as the Carbonite Tower, actually taller. Well, about the same. Which sort of makes sense when you think about it. Okay, well, let's connect the two up. How about having Shovels come out and do the honors? Uh, we will have to... Oh, we aren't close enough to extend that ladder there. 
Somehow I don't think this ladder is going to go all the way down to the ground, Shobos. Fortunately, this is Minmus, so you're probably not going to get too hurt by it. Off he goes. Okay, well, land on his back. Ah, enough clearance for him to go around. No, 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 uh, this way. You can go under the craft, actually. Pretty convenient, like that. A little bit risky going underneath the Nerva, but... As long as your compadre does not do anything crazy, should be fine. It is a little bit high for them to reach these. Shovels will have to EVA up there. Didn't really think about that. Go on. We don't need, want to grab this one though. Yeah, we'll we'll need to plug. Well, okay, maybe we should. Uh, link. Okay. Okay. Hopefully the thing over there is close enough. It should only be. How far is it? No, oh, twenty six point six meters. Well, that's to the top though. I'm hoping it's only 20 meters to the base. Still don't know the exact range of these pipes. Well, there's a pipe endpoint there at least, so we don't have to move one. Ah, It's too far. Okay, well, we're just going to have to... Is it backspace? Enter. Okay, great. So we cancel the link and uh, we will... We'll get shovels back inside and then we're going to have this... Do a short hop to get closer to the tower. Emergency ab is not too far away, that's good. They could probably EVA pack over to the emergency hab and come back on EVA pack. Don't need another vehicle to bring them there. That's convenient. Really would like to avoid these short hops. That's very annoying. I know some people uh, suggested little anchors and stuff we could... Uh, pylons, ground pylons. I guess we can try that sort of thing, but... Okay, which way do we have to go? Not that way. Oh, I'm more this way. Is a rough landing. Oh, it's getting, it's getting. Oh, breaks, breaks. It's gonna be tough getting this close to that consistently. Okay, well we've have we settled down? Point two meters per second, point one meters per second. Still not steady on our feet here. Okay, I'm gonna. No, we had the lights off. It's it's the Comet Towers lights that are on. We're draining electric charge pretty quickly. It might be SAS. Yeah, it is SAS. Suspension is locked. Activating SAS. Looks like it's all right now. Okay, uh, Denemone. Let's have you do the connection now. You do not have much electric charge on you. So I guess I should just remember to land within the area covered by the lights of the Carbonite Tower. Maybe that's a good good way to measure it out. Okay, seems pretty close to me. All right. 
right. UVA pack active. Not close enough? Come on. Okay, looks like we have to go up a bit. There we go, link. All right. We are connected. Now, we just need something to pump actual carbonite, because neither of these can do that. Actually, the emergency hab can, if we brought the emergency hab closer to this. It could have pumped the carbonite. But we'll just get the mobile miner. Well, maybe we should have a different miner vehicle, come to think of it. We could just have a little miner unit. Very, very small. Doesn't even have to contain the mining stuff much. I don't know. All we needed was a mining unit. The thing with the miner unit, though, is uh, it can't just have the... It needs uh, substantial electric power to power the mining unit. So that's the downside of it. And up we get. Okay, so uh, we're all good here. Now we have to make sure we can fill this up and get to the station. I think I'll take care of the station cleanup and also uh, how to get the miner unit here in the next episode. I also want to send some of the extra planetary launch pad stuff here, but I have to look up what exactly we need to send and how to configure it. So, but the point is we have Kerbals at our base. We have this sort of uh, set up. We've got emergency hab within EVA distance. And so things are looking up on Minmus. All right. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.